Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a clove hitch, which in Danish is a double house stick. Uh, it's very good for tying fenders onto uh, railings, etc. So, here we go. So basically the line over the top, to the right, crossing over the top, to the left, and then through the pull tight. And there you've got a clove hitch and the fender is secure. You can also do the slip knot so it's much easier to get undone. Um, so it's the same procedure. Over the top, to the right, cross over. But now is you make a loop with this end and then pass the loop through and then pull it tight. So that when we come to uh, get underway, we can just pull and the whole thing comes apart. So, now I've showed you that, um, welcome to episode 4 of Sailing with Skylark. Last week, as I said in the last uh, episode, we had a big storm that came in and it's taken down several trees around the place. Um, here's one, here it's down. So uh, this afternoon I'm going to uh, remove it, basically chop it up and we can burn some of it in our, in our stove. Um, yeah. So um, I'll just show you my equipment. I've got, um, I've got some really heavy uh, boots with steel toe cap. I've got some special uh, protective trousers which make it a lot harder to cut your leg off. Um, then. I'm going to be wearing my hat with the ear protectors and uh, an advisor and then of course some gloves. So let's start, start the chainsaw up. So hi, so I've, uh, I've cleared the uh, area here our next door neighbor borrows it to uh, grow red currants so i should be very happy it's gone i've got a big pile of stuff over here and then uh, i'm cutting the rest down into sections that we can burn in the stove in the house so uh, i'll just carry on a bit So, I got rid of the tree now, so the entrance way is open, and uh, here's all the firewood we got, which is very good. I just need to split it now, got my axe there, ready for splitting. Halfway there 
Just got to take it over to the wood store now. Yeah, but it's getting a bit late and the sun's going. So I might just go in and get a cup of tea. Well, here's all the wood chopped and stacked and uh, ready for uh, not next winter, but the winter after when it's dried out. So it'll stay there for a while now. And uh, here's a pile that we, uh, we've we had stored for a couple of years, so we'll use that next winter. So uh, yeah, we pretty much supply our own wood from the forest. Yeah, well, thank you for watching. Uh, the next time I'll, um, I'll go through the boat and show you what uh, improvements I've made to it. And also uh, what I plan to do in the next month or so before it goes back in the water. Um, so until then, uh, stay safe and uh, yeah, see ya.